So in this episode of Book of the Beast, when we finish up the Chaos Space Marine Allies and going over the list that I personally want to build and run. So we're going to have a combined arms detachment of orcs. And then so we're going to go for the um, Warbike Star plus the uh, Spawn Star. <laughs> Stars. So you have your Warboss on a bike. Uh, Warboss on a bike with Power Claw, Lucky Stick, and Boss Pole. Pain Boy on a bike with a Boss Pole. And you've got two units of heavy armored Shooter Boys because they are going to be marching up the field. So two times 30 shooters uh, with heavy armor and with a knob, of course, power claw, boss pole, and three weapons. I'm going with big shooters usually because they're going to probably be out of the action. But you can really run rockets if you want to. And we're going to have 12 Ludas and two tractor cannons. So that's going to be your orc detachment right there. Again, you're going to have the, uh, oh, and then almost forgot, the point of it, 15 more bikes. With knob, of course. So here's your orc detachment. Again, you're going to be running your Warbike Star with the Warboss Pain Boy and the Warbikes. And they're going to be lined up on the starting line across next to and run up with the Chaos detachment. So for Chaos, we're going to run an Allied detachment. So they do gain objective secured. So we're going to have a Lord on a bike, of course. And we're going to give that Lord um, Nurgle, Bike, the Burning Brand, um, a Fist, and um, Sickle Corruption for the Impulse Save. Okay. Now the Burning Brand is optional. You can give them the Black Mace, of course. Um, the problem is that unlike with a monstrous creature, the, uh, the Black Mace is only AP4. You could actually take both the Fist and the Black Mace and then choose which one you want to use. Um, that's definitely an option, but I love the Burning Brand with its Torrent AP3 Flamer. Um, for troops, of course, we can go with Cultists. Just bearing it into 10. And for fun, we're going to give them Nurgle. It's only 10 points. I'm sure I could use that 10 points somewhere else, like give the tractor hand and ammo runs or something, but it's fun. And that makes some toughness four, which really isn't that <laughs> much to complain about. Um, and then lastly, five spawn. Five spawn. Also with Nurgle, of course. So here's your list. This is 2,000 points. Actually, it's 1,998 points like this. And this is the basic, oh, and of course an end, I forgot, almost forgot, Aegis, don't forget that. It does have an Aegis in this list too. So you basically, you line up your war bike star on one side, you line up the Nurgles, the, the Lord on the bike on, and the spawn on the other side, and you go that way, 24 inches first turn. Or actually, these guys will go 24. These guys will go 12 plus D6. Um, well, I guess, the bike can still go 12, 24, but. Oh, how does that work? Can the rest of the unit run and and the Lord Turbo Boost at the same time? I don't know. I think you can do that because each each model's movement is separate. But anyway, um, and then as these guys run forward, I mean, this is this with this kind of model count, you got these these toughness six spawn. You got the Nurgle Lord. Um, you can even tank for some things if you really want to. Um, that's up to you. And then, and then you got the war bike star on the other side. You're just going to be super aggressive. You're just going to run up, you know. And then your opponent has to deal with these guys. And we already know how hard it is to deal with war bike star. And these guys are just annoying to deal with, just because there's so many wounds, 
and their toughness six. So most most volume of fire isn't going to is going to be wounding on fives and sixes. Um, sure, you're probably going to lose a lot of models, but they're fearless, so it doesn't matter. Um, that's fine, and because the once the chaos lord gets in the combat, I and mean, he's pretty nasty. Um, and then, and you just be flooding the middle of the board with just fast moving, hard hitting units that are just going to come up and smack you in the face. Um, of course, it doesn't have a lot to deal with Titans, but to be honest, if you're playing something that's nice with Night Titans, with, with the Adamantine Lance, then um, if you're playing Orcs, there's just not much you can do about that in general. The only way you can deal with Titans is to purposely build a Mega Knob list um, to deal with the Night Titans. So, but anyway, as far as anything else goes, this is going to be super fast. And then behind, behind all that stuff that's going to be in your opponent's face, you've got 60 heavy armored orc boys that are going to be moving up and either running or laying down just a blanket of covering fire while you're at it. You've got detracted cannons to try and bring down any monstrous creatures, flying monstrous creatures you see, and the Aegis to keep the Ludas and the Cultists safe. Or relatively safe speed, of course. Um, again, this is another just hammer and anvil. This is going to be super aggressive with your war bikes and the spawn. Just run up and then just march your boys right behind them. Because anything, even if you lose both those units after over a couple turns, now you've got 60 basically unwounded boys, untouched boys, that have come up and just start beating on everything. And all the time you're going to be dealing with the Ludas. Uh, opening up on you. This isn't a very subtle list. There's no tricks to it. It's just very aggressive, basic hammer and anvil tactics. Run up with your fast units, do as much as you can, have them absorb as much shooting as you can, and then back it up with just just 60 orcs with heavy armor. So, so this is the list I want to build. This is the list that I want to run myself, and I'm slowly working on getting to. And yeah, it sounds like a lot of fun. Um, the alternate, this is a, because this detachment here is just super cheap. I should mention, I forgot to mention that. This is only 420 points altogether. That's not a bad uh, point cost for this kind of uh, utility and, and uh, synergy with the orcs. 420 points, that's almost nothing. So anyway, that's going to conclude this episode of Book of the Beast, and I'll talk to you guys later.